you know that you can add glows, strokes, and shadows to any source in OBS using a simple plugin? Well, in today's video, I'll show you how you can set it up. It's extremely easy. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so first things first, what you need is obviously set up this OBS plugin. It's called Stroke, Glow, and Shadow. The current version of this plugin is 1.0.2. But if you're watching this video later, there might be a newer version. So what you need to do, there will be a link down in the description below for this plugin. So you just click on that and then you click on the download in top right. Once you click on download, you can choose either Mac OS, Linux or Windows or the Windows installer. Whatever is the easiest for you, set it up, download it. If you're on Windows, just download the installer, run it, make sure your OBS is closed run it, install it, and you should be fine. It's extremely easy to set up. And now I'll actually show you how you can make it work for your sources and scenes. All right, so I have my OBS open up right over here. If you want to see if this plugin actually works, you can just open up any source that you have set up right here. Right click, go to filters, click on the plus sign right over here, and you'll see stroke, you'll see shadow, and you'll see glow. That means that the plugin actually works. So if you want to add a shadow, for example, I already have one set up. I'll show you how it looks like right over here. So I have this like social uh, banner over here and I added the drop shadow to it and it looks really, really cool. So I'll show you how it looks like without the filter. If I turn it off right over here, you can see that it looks pretty basic. It's just like a normal, you know, JPEG PNG image right over here. But if we turn it back on, you can see in the middle over here, it looks pretty cool. Like it adds the depth to the image and it just makes everything so much cooler. Now, if you want to add this yourself, all you need to do, like I said, go to a plus, add a shadow, and then you can use these settings right over here. So for position, you want to either use outer shadow or inner shadow, depending on what you want shadowed, obviously. I want to go for an outer shadow because I want outside. Blur type, you want to use the dual Kawasi that's also on the website. It's mentioned that this one uses way less resources than the triangular one. So there's just no point of using that one. Make sure to always use the dual Kawasi. It just saves so many PC resources and it's obviously better regarding the efficiency and everything else. Now for the size, intensity, light, light angle and shadow distance, you just need to play around with those however you think would you know look the best for you. I have these settings if you want to copy them, but like I said, Find an image that you want to add shadows to, for example, your webcam or just anything else, and then just play around until you find the shadows looking good. Now, if you want to add different things, like we said, uh, the stroke or the glow, you just do the same thing. For example, stroke right here, click on OK, and now you have a white stroke, which looks absolutely disgusting, but we can, you know, change the stroke size. We can make it either, you know, very fat or very thin right here. So I want to make it like thinner over here. I can also make it black, for example, there. I don't need the, the white. If we make it black right there, you can increase this. It's it already has the stroke on the image itself. That's why it's looking, you know, not too good. But for example, for the webcam itself, you can just run the black stroke or the white stroke or whatever you really want. The offset, the offset quality, you have a bunch of these settings that you can play around with and set it up to your liking. Same thing for the glow as well. If we turn off the stroke, we have the glow. So you have the same thing. You can either add a white glow or like yellow, red, whatever people really use nowadays, you know, just to, so it glows nicely. It like fits the, the theme of your channel. And then you click on close and you have this set up right over here and you are basically done. Like I said, it's extremely easy to set this up. You don't need to do much, just add the plugin, Make sure to find the source that you want to add these shadows or strokes or glows to, and you are basically set up. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my guides for OBS, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.